Learning this trick will change your party animals games forever. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be completely breaking down what's known as the fling or the flick in party animals and all of its variants. Let's start off with what is a fling. A fling is a combo that will allow you to combine the momentum of punching and kicking to launch yourself or an item an incredibly long distance. And it is honestly quite game breaking for some specific maps. I'm surprised party animals hasn't patched it out or you know at least made it a little bit less strong but i love how precise and high skill this trick is it's party animals hardest trick to perform and it takes a long time to be consistent at it and i hope they never remove it huge huge credits to super Beebs on youtube who initially found out this trick their video was great to teach me the fling initially after using this trick for around 400 hours now it has a lot more depth than i initially thought and i'm going to share that with you guys and hi if you're new here i'm vixie and i have over 500 hours in party animals already and i've already made a 50 tips and tricks video and other party animals videos so if you'd love to learn and get better at party animals this is the channel for you before we get stuck in for this trick and all of its variants i highly recommend rebinding your controls on both controller and mouse and keyboard to make this trick easier for an xbox controller i swapped my jump and my kick buttons so jump is on a and kick is on y on keyboard you can't perform this trick at all with the current key bindings as throw and kick share the same button so you have two options here you could rebind these buttons completely or you can add an alternative key binding so you just have a different setup for flinging versus normal gameplay if you'd like it doesn't matter wherever you bind them just choose what's most comfortable for you now let's get stuck in number one the fling before you can perform a fling you first need to know how to superman punch you can superman punch by running punching then immediately jumping after pressing punch fun fact you can use this trick for other things as well like crossing terrain a lot easier once you've learned how to superman punch you can now try out the fling which is performed by running punching jumping immediately after pressing punch and then immediately kicking after jumping it launches your character not only incredibly far forward but also very fast the faster you perform the inputs the faster and the further your character will go this trick is incredible for distance if you can pull it off consistently it helps so much on maps like winter is coming to quickly get back to safety once you're on the ice on beast football to cover a lot of ground to get to the ball faster and it's super amazing on conveyor when the belt is super fast towards the end of the round heck you can use this trick on a lot of maps you can use it to cross maps with large gaps in like black hole lab and trebuchet or even on icebreaker when the ice starts collapsing this combo even deals damage i love using this trick on wider last stand maps like ichiban and castle ween as you can catch quite a few people off guard with it and i think it's one of the most consistent ways to deal with enemies having large weapons that knock you out instantly especially nunchucks as if you miss you create a large distance between you and your opponents so you can try to fling again and try and get the items off them it's also really great for fast unexpected knockouts in close range so your enemies can't react i'll quickly run through a few maps slash scenarios where flinging can be bad you can't fling into the hockey puck on beast hockey as you'll just go straight over it same goes with the football on beast soccer if you use the fling from long range but you can fling from close range and push the ball that way. Be careful where you fling in Black Hole Lab. If you're pointing towards the edge of the map at all and you fling, it will completely launch you outside the map. And of course, this also obviously applies to smaller last stand maps like Gator Valley and Broken Arrow, just because of how small the maps are. Number two, the item fling. For this trick, you first need to find an item, pick it up with grab and keep the grab button held down. Then you also need to hold down the throw button. Once both of these buttons are held down, you jump, let go of the throw button and kick in quick succession one after the other. The timing for this is really precise and here's a video of my personal inputs slowed down so you can see how close they have to be with each other. I also have a small tip on how to perform this trick better. Here's how I hold my controller. I hold down throw on X, the tip of my thumb like this and hover the back of my thumb on jump and I swipe my thumb upwards across every button like this. This trick also works for the original fling without using items. 
you can launch most items in this game, but it works best with light items that are less heavy than your own character. The fling can launch items faster or higher based on how fast you perform the inputs and if you find yourself doing the inputs correctly but you're not really getting the items high enough, just keep practicing. It's very precise. The items that this trick works really well with in order are the ball in beast football followed by the trebuchet bombs and yes, throwing the bombs to the other side in trebuchet does set them alight midair. And then the smaller gummies in Lollipop Factory. You can fling coal in Fluffy Redemption, but it vastly depends on the size of the coal. And with flinging, you ideally want to try and throw enemy coal onto your train, but the inconsistency with the coal size and that this trick generally is supposed to launch items quite far makes it quite hard to perform on Fluffy Redemption. I prefer spinning in a circle to throw coal onto my train that way. In trebuchet, one thing to note is that sometimes you can throw bombs over that don't get lit during the travel. So they sit in the enemy's base and do nothing. You'll need to go over to the enemy's side to throw them off so they can respawn. With the beast football, this trick feels incredibly consistent because the ball is so light. But with the other items, I find spinning in a circle before performing the fling to be very helpful. And I feel like it makes me launch items more consistently. You can also launch the suitcases in Luggage Chaos over the barriers, but this requires an incredibly precise fling. You need to hold the suitcase so it's above ground, roughly lining your paws up in the middle of the suitcase like this, and then also perform an almost perfect fling, which is very inconsistent and most of the time just not worth doing. This also brings me to the next tip. You can fling heavy items if you and another person fling them at the same time. You can launch the big gummy over the edge in Lollipop Factory with this trick, and I've won so many games doing this. No one expects it. Number three, the delayed item fling. I recently discovered this version of the trick in a beast football match. What sets this apart from the original item fling is that you can fling items even further away, but you sacrifice a lot of the height from the item fling to convert that into forward distance instead. I thought the original fling was insane enough on maps like beast football, but this variant takes it to a whole new level. You perform this trick the same way you do the original item fling, except you delay your kick input by about half a second. You can throw the ball in beast football completely from one side of the pitch to the other using this. Heck, even most of the time the ball lands directly in front of the goal. This doesn't happen when you use the original item fling because it has a lot more height to it and it will hit the bar above the goal most of the time. But this way you completely bypass that. I've also figured out that if you're incredibly precise, you can even score in buzz ball with this trick. This version of the fling is a lot harder to pull off and I find myself failing it most of the time. But that's just because it's so newly discovered it probably isn't used to its fullest potential yet. And that's every type of fling in Party Animals. Thank you so much for watching and if you want to learn even more about Party Animals mechanics I have a video right here with 50 tips and tricks. And I'm also making even more tips and tricks videos for the future. So please like the videos and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to support me further so I can continue making content like this. I also stream every single day on my Twitch channel if you'd like to come watch me playing Party Animals Live and chat with my community. Come over there and say hi! Thank you all so much again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!